Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am super, super excited because I am sharing with you part one of 2020's Christmas Clean and Decorate with me. I love filming and doing this video every single year for you guys for the past few years anyways. And I'm super excited to share it with you because I love the holidays. I love Christmas time. I love decorating for the holidays as well. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Michelle. My husband, four kids and I live in Canada and we actually just got our first snowfall overnight last night. So it seemed like the perfect time to go ahead and start decorating. Just like the snowflakes As you can see, the first space in the house I'm gonna go ahead and decorate is our master bedroom. This room is the first room when you walk into the house. It has been holding so much clutter lately of things that we're purging, giving away on buy nothing groups to friends and family. And it was time for me to just get rid of all of that stuff, get it out of my room and make this a nice little sanctuary, a little palace, a little cozy place that I can get some rest, that I can work and that I could spend time just relaxing in the evenings once my little ones are in bed. So now that I've gone ahead and cleared out my whole room and it's looking pretty white and bland, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, clean it up real quick, do a full cleaning over here, um, washing my sheets, I'm going to put on my Christmas sheets, and then I'm going to start decorating. When decorating a new space, I like to clean everything off, wipe all of the surfaces down. You don't realize how much dust and grime and dirt can actually live under a ton of decorations and clutters on surfaces. And then I just add my decorations as I've kind of visualized it over the past couple weeks or while purchasing things or while pulling things out of bins. This way I can really see if it's gonna function for the space, if I like it, and if I need to move things around, I can be moving things around for up to a week or two, depending on how I'm feeling, if it's at the right spot. I'm also trying to make sure that things that are breakable might not be at my toddler's uh, reach. When decorating our bedroom for the holidays, I switch out my sheets. No, it's not the only time of year I switch out my sheets, but I do figure this is an optimal time to just pull everything off my bed, wash them, and then 
put some new sheets on and decorate it that way. I'm using the same fitted sheet as I had on before because it's my only light colored one and I wanted a light colored one since I'm not doing flannel Christmas prints this year. And then I'm just using this white duvet that I got off Amazon, uh, super inexpensive. I think I got it last year and then just throwing my duvet inside of it. More often than not, I'm gonna have one of my little ones in um, my videos, my cleaning videos, all of them. Um, Daddy works full time in and out of the house and Easton's at preschool from eight to 11, five days a week. It's now 9.50, so he's been there. She just got up not that long ago, hence the jammies. Um, so she's gonna be tagging along while I finish this up. And this little girl here is Everly Grace. For those of you who are new, she is 18 months and she is our champ sleeper. All that you dream I have no Now that my room is looking perfect for me and it's just looking so fantastic, I am getting actually quite emotional and super blessed for the house that I have to actually decorate. I know this has been such a difficult, difficult year for everyone and my heart goes out to everyone who has really struggled through this pandemic, um, more than I have anyways. And I just want to say how blessed I am because I know that this is such a good thing. Anyways, thank you so much for sticking around and being here and watching this. I would love it if you would share with it with your friends and family. And if you would go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new.